Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTD6. Let's continue with the advanced maps. Uh, I'm gonna use Monkey Knowledge and uh, third map High Finance, now Impopable. I'm gonna go with Benjamin for this gameplay. And I have found out that Benjamin is actually uh, a much better hero than what I thought it would be because of the fact that uh, for round 40, you're gonna always have Benjamin level 7 if you place him uh, early enough and the, this uh, Bloom Trojan virus is gonna make the mob in round 40 spawn no ceramics so you just need to destroy the external mob layer and that's it so that's round 40 super easy uh, and, uh, and on top of that you have Benjamin that yes he's not gonna attack directly the blooms but he's gonna give you cash so in maps like this one as well when you don't have a lot of spots to place farms. I'm going to show you uh, now the, the possible spots that you have. It's uh, it's good to have a, a hero like Benjamin that is going to make you earn more cash with the banks. And it's going to also give you cash himself. Um, and yeah, so let's start here. This is in gameplay. I placed the free that monkey right there. And the sub uh, in that spot. So it's pretty much symmetrical to what I did in half cash and uh, and now the main deal is uh, where can you place farms now there, is, there are these four buildings that you can spend 1.5k cash on that are gonna uh, that you're gonna be able to build and on top of them you can place farms up to two farms each and that's what I'm gonna use so I'm gonna drop here Benjamin in this bottom corner Okay, so that it gives me cash before the run ends and in that way he's also giving this submarine um, a range at which he can attack the balloons later on so in this uh, this bottom uh, right corner and uh, you can see that a submarine in um, with the help of uh, that monkey can pop the the majority of the balloons without any any trouble and therefore I'm gonna get run out the uh, submarine uh, 102 and then uh, and then afterwards uh, because I know that the submarine with uh, airbus starts uh, can defend perfectly so you don't really need anything else I'm gonna place right afterwards uh, I'm gonna build here this uh, one of these buildings and I'm gonna place the first farm on top of them so that's what I'm gonna do and here that's the airbus starts already here we go uh, a lot more damage a lot more popping power so you don't need to worry about the rounds and uh, and I know I can survive with the with the with justice submarine and the help of the that monkey plus uh, I have 25 uh, mana shield lives and the raw specs at the end so those are all things that uh, can help me in case uh, some balloons can manage to sneak past so let's build this uh, spot right here here we go so you can see the flat area uh, on which you can place farms now the cool thing about uh, placing towers on top of these buildings after you you spend the cash is the fact that um, uh, the towers that are going to be placed on top of these buildings will not have any line of sight problem. So I'm going to show you here after uh, for round uh, 28 for, for lead balloons, I'm going to place a sniper. Because of the fact that I'm going to exploit the fact that uh, on top of these buildings I can, I can uh, have my towers uh, be able to target every bar of the map. And so, uh, yeah, that's that's the role that's better. Okay, here we go. So now here I'm gonna sell this um, free that monkey. It was useful just in the early stages of the game, but I need the the room to place the ninja to be able to pop the to uh, the camo balloon in round 24. You just need to place the ninja just like that without even upgrading it. Right, so right now what I'm gonna get is gonna be the uh, the farm here two two zero. Here we go. 
So now 26 cash. Nice. I'm going to get this ninja 100. Zero, zero. And uh, now I'm going to show you what I meant earlier on by saying that uh, I'm going to get a sniper to pop lad blooms in these early uh, stages of the game. So normally, if I want to place a sniper down here, you can see how many red zones there are. And so parts of the map that the sniper cannot uh, attack the balloons. And so uh, it's not very, very nice. But instead, look here, if I place a sniper up here, it doesn't have uh, any red zones, so I can attack the entirety of the map. It's pretty much like you consider the, the fact that the sniper is placed on top of a, like a building like a skyscraper and so you can attack the balloons because you're firing from uh, the top so so from a good height and so you can aim and attack the balloons wherever they are uh, and yeah that's cool so that's why uh, in this particular gameplay I think getting a, a sniper is a very nice choice at least for these uh, mid 30 rounds uh, and uh, and not only for lead balloons, but also in general, just to make the the faster balloons uh, slower. Because I have here, you can see here this all these balloons. I'm able to attack them uh, right as they enter in the map. Okay, uh, camo balloons here not a problem. Now I can start here this round, and I can get the bank right off. So round 34, that's the bank already, so that's very nice. Then another thing that can, um, uh, that I think is helpful is w always watch Benjamin and whenever you can leveling him up for less than uh, 1k cash, do it. Because uh, in that way you're gonna be able to leveling up faster without spending a lot of cash and that is gonna definitely uh, help. And so here what I'm doing is, uh, now I have already the bank, I'm cashing in and I'm just uh, upgrading the ninja 402. Uh, so I'm gonna get this ninja 402 for round uh, uh, 40. But again, as I said, round 40, you don't really need a lot of defenses, you just need to pop the mob layer and that's it. Because the mob is gonna be affected by the, by the balloon tro trojan this effect right here in level 7 and so it's gonna spawn no ceramics all right so uh, next is as I said getting cult traps and also I'm gonna get an alchemist now the alchemist I will not place it super close to the ninja like right here but I'm gonna place it slightly uh, more to the right side and that is going to allow me to then later on be able to place a bomb right here. So those are the reasons. So 300 Alchemist. And you can see here the mob. Uh, that's the virus. And so without even using Benjamin's ability. Boom. That's round 40 gun. Super, super easily. It's almost easier than when you go with Pat and you use Pat's level 3. Uh, yeah, it's almost as easy as, uh, as that. And now, of course, this alchemist is going to buff the ninja, it's going to make it stronger. Uh, but not only that, um, the ninja will be able to also start popping lad blooms. So, uh, yes, you have the sniper, but the, the ninja here is really the one making the difference. So I'm going to get here the alchemist 400. And next, I should have the bank full. Well, almost full, but remember that the bank is full of 9.5k cash, so in this case I'm going to collect anyway. Uh, and I'm going to place the, the second uh, farm here. Now I'm going to sell though this sniper, and I'm going to replace it for a sniper that instead is going to give me uh, cash. So a 250 sniper to also have here the more piercing. Uh, always without popping power, but now also the sniper has camo detention 
and then later on I'm gonna have with him the activated ability that we'll be able to use to get even more cash why not considering that I can attack the entirety of the map uh, I think it's a very nice idea okay here I can start going a little faster here through the rounds Benjamin uh, I think he's gonna level up himself here at the end of round 47 but if not I'm gonna upgrade him yeah see here I could spend 455 uh, cash to upgrade him right off now I'm gonna place a bomb here to have some extra damage going on uh, so I can be sure uh, of being able to survive here are these, uh, these rounds. Now next is placing the village of course. The closer I can here to the left side the better so I can I should be able to cover the ninja with the range. Attack speed um, and yeah why not let's get also come with attention right off. Okay, so I think with these defenses here, I can afford to uh, upgrade the, the sniper. So I'm gonna use the cash that I get in these rounds to upgrade it. Uh, Benjamin level 9 means also the banks get uh, fuller faster. In 10 rounds with Benjamin, the banks uh, are full. And so you can really exploit, uh, you can really exploit that because you can get the the cash faster. And you can see some of these mobs being affected by the bloom trojan, and so spawning no ceramics. Here we go. Let's upgrade. Uh, in this round, the end of it, the banks are gonna be full, so I'm gonna take out other stars so I can do the the whole thing, placing farms and so on in no in no trouble. Okay, here we go. So let's collect, let's build another place here, and let's place more farms. So here, as always, be careful because uh, in that way you can fit two farms. One and two. There we go. And I can't fit anymore. Yeah, so let's start again. And on top of that, I got here now the sniper activity ability that I can use. Okay, Benjamin is level 10. So I'm gonna start here using whenever I can his level 10 so that I can get extra cash from the balloons. Uh, the ability also downgrades balloons by one rank. That means that it's gonna turn ceramics into rainbows, it's gonna turn mobs into ceramics. Uh, and so uh, you have less layers to pop and that means as well that you get less cash. But because of the fact that it's also amplifying the cash, it's doubling the cash you get, at the end of the day uh, is pretty much the, the same. Right now, BFB. Um, I should be able to, to pop everything here. I'm risking a little bit the rounds, so I'm gonna here take out other stars so I can think about what to place next. Um, So I can get here, let's see, a tower, a tower upgrade that I haven't used uh, in a long time. But that is also pretty good in a map like this one. Could be, um, yeah, could be a mob domination. I haven't used this upgrade in a lot, in a long time, so I'm going to get the boomerang here. So I'm placing the boomerang here on top of the building because in that way, again, I will not have the problem with the line of sight. So that's the that's the main reason why I'm placing the boom right here. Uh, so let's see about here. Yeah. 
Okay, and let's also get um, another tower that I haven't used in a while. Uh, let's get um, a middle path uh, sub. The fifth upgrade. It's a tower that I haven't really used a lot. I just used the fourth upgrade, the activated ability to to pop the uh, to survive round uh, 100 in champs mainly. But I think it would be great to to have the fifth upgrade to proc the mob assassin effect. Okay, so now for round 63 here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Benjamin level 10 for the first rush of ceramics. So it's turned into rainbows, and so it's uh, super easy to to pop them. Now second rush, let's see here, I should be able to do it. Uh, because I can once again attack the balloons there in the bottom side. For the third rush as well, uh, should be manageable. Okay, yeah. And I wanted to save here the uh, level 3 to be able to use it here in round 64 to be able to defeat the fortified uh, mobs. Okay. Elite Sniper here is very pretty close now to afford it. Banks 6.97k. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get it right off, even if it means that the cooldown is gonna reset. So now I have the elite targeting and also faster attack speed. Ability. Here we go, giving us well, a lot more of cash. I can sell this up and I can get uh, instead. Uh, I was also thinking about it earlier to get here um, a Buccaneer, a 5 2 0 Buccaneer. I think also it would work pretty, pretty nice in this map. Having the aces that can fly everywhere and therefore they can pop the balloons in uh, even with their behind the, the buildings. Okay, here I forgot that I had the banks full, so uh, yeah, whatever. So let's build the last farms here in these last two spots. So that is gonna be uh, one, two, then three and four. Yeah, here we go. Got nice. So that's all banks already placed, and that should mean um, uh, I'm good. I, you cannot really uh, build any other buildings and place farms on top of them. Uh, I, I think maybe there is uh, one spot, but uh, if I remember correctly, you can place only up to eight uh, farms in this map. Okay, so let's get first the 520 Buccaneer because of the fact it's pretty cheap, and as well you gain uh, you gain uh, the the whole screen coverage damage. So why not? Four two zero, maybe getting yeah. The first track ability though does not give me anything other than the activated ability. So yeah, I may get the the extra damage and and utility of the five two zero buccaneer instead.
next time I collect the banks should be before around uh, 81, so before the super swarms come out. And definitely that should uh, mean that uh, I'm good to go. I'm gonna get most likely the the mob domination first. The only problem will be like ceramic popping power. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna need to to think about how to counter that. Like super SRAMs, how can I pop them pretty fast and efficiently? Oh, I used it too late, I think. Yeah, because the PFPs are already out. Uh, 4.7, just not forget the, the banks, because you lose a lot of possible cash if you don't uh, if you go, don't get the if you don't collect the maximum cash. So mob domination here or or some other upgrade for round uh, next time I collect the banks. I, I have to think about that. So at the end of round 78 the banks are gonna be full. Yeah. So let's take out Alistair so I can think well about what to do. Um, the fifth upgrade here is very effective against mobs like the mob domination, but lacks a little bit of ceramic, uh, really real damage. Um, so let's see. I can get here the car flagship, but I wanna save the cash here in case I I want it. I want to get an upgrade. Here we go. So that's all the banks. Let's collect. Okay, that's the cash I have, so... Um, mob Domination it is. And let's get the Carter Flagship. Yeah, I'm gonna get those two Tarfar upgrades for now. Um, and let's get also the, the MIB. So I don't have to worry about uh, loan types. And I'm also ready for the DTs in the 90s. And also, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I can place towers on top of this Buccaneer. That should be in range of the... In range of the... Um, of the village. Unfortunately though, if I think the mob domination proc is not happening here. So, I must assume that it will not happen unless the mobs are in sight. Well, it's weird because uh, I don't know why it's not procking here. See that it's not procking. Ah, uh, maybe because they're just too far away. Yeah, maybe because of that. Yeah, they're too far away. It's also true that uh, that happens. The mob domination effect is is not unlimited range. It happens uh, when the blues are. I think it's double the range, so about here. So that's why it's proccing for these uh, BFPs in this case. Okay, so what can I place though on top of this back and ear? Uh, something that's gonna be useful. Uh, here and yeah, maybe a droid. Like, how can I deal against ceramics? I can get an avatar of wrath, but uh, that's cliche. I've used it a ton of times. I would like to use something different. Um, glue gunner. Five. Uh, five two zero. But the range is not that big. Yeah, even the, the range of the druid actually is not unlimited. 
Uh, so I can either go with um, with a druid, like a five two zero druid, five zero two druid. So the druid that's gonna blow backwards the mobs. That could work. Or well, actually, first of all, you know what I'm gonna build here. Uh, hopefully, I can. Oh, I can't place. Oh no. I can place a mortar. I think I could have placed a mortar here. I don't know why I can't. It doesn't fit. Oh yeah, it fits though. It was my bad. If I'm careful now, I saw a a possible placement. Let's just check out here the banks, okay. In the meantime, I'm deciding, let's just get here um, a 2-5-0. Um, sub. And at the end of this round, the bank should be full as well. Yeah. Now I want to place a mortar here, a uh, 0 to 5 mortar. I think it's going to be great. So let's collect here. Okay. So I saw a spot there, but maybe it wasn't a real spot. I would really love to place it though here. Uh, so what if I build here? I don't remember exactly the buildings. I don't know if I can place a mortar here. I can, and I can even do it in range of the village. Yeah, that was the thing I was looking for. Placing it in the range of the village. Okay, so 0 to 5 mortar. Very, very efficient now with the last buff at uh, damaging uh, mob class plus. Okay. Alright, so that gives. Uh, that's enough for. Uh, also to defortify mob class plus. That's also nice. So here, unless I get something crazy, I don't think I will be able to get uh, any other type of upgrade. Maybe the ninja. But yeah, it's fine. I don't really think I need anything else here. I have all the damage now with the mortar. Look here at the at the pops. As soon as mob class blooms step on top of the uh, mortar, the burning of the layers is just uh, crazy. So let's actually here use the rest of the cash to upgrade Benjamin and to make it stronger. To upgrade the game at uh, level 20. I may be able to collect also once the cash before on, uh, 100 so I can get maybe some extra upgrades. I would really love to get here the Perma Brew to Perma buff the Submarine or the Buccaneer. To make them stronger. Or I can just upgrade the ninja as well. Uh, 502 ninja has been a while since I've got it. That could also be nice. And here that's the mob assassin proc effect of the submarine. You can see here these, BF these DDTs popped in one hit. And yeah, that's the power of the of the fifth upgrade. So very very nice. Level 19 Benjamin. Now also around 98, all the fortified BFPs are gonna come from this top side, and that's exactly. Uh, wait a second here. Am I popping everything? Uh, I'm not sure, so 
I will not risk here losing at this stage of the game just because uh, uh, I'm I'm not paying enough attention. You can see here that the problem is like the speed of the balloons as well. So I think here what I really need is a glue gunner or something to slow down the, the balloons. So let's get a glue gunner here in range of the village. Um, yeah, more blue. Why not? Right? It's the best. And also, I forgot to get the my usual uh, three zero two alchemist as well to do some extra damage. Just for this round, I th actually I may not even be able to pop the the fortified the my guts here. Yeah, so I don't really even need to move the 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 motor. Nice. Okay, good. So that's round 98. I'm gonna use Benjamin's level 10 just to be able to get some extra uh, damage going on. Uh, okay, can I pop everything here? I can also use his level 3, so I'm forgetting that his level 3 actually increases the damage of, of up to uh, 9 towers, I think it is, at this stage. Okay, so that's... The DT is here quite easily. Destroy it. Now I can collect here the banks once more. Uh, let's get this ninja upgraded. And uh, let's get also the Parma Brew just by selling here one of these banks. And I can also use, as always, the missile to pop the last BAD layer so that it's easier. When the two engines at the side of the DDT uh, BAD disappear, boom, you use the first rock capability, and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you.